Hi friends, it's Jivtesh from Encode Digital. In our last tutorial, we looked into how we can use the CDN version of a Vue.js with Code Igniter 4. Although I use the Code Igniter, but that Vue.js can be used with even with the plain HTML. So I didn't use any of the feature of the Code Igniter. So what we did was that in that particular tutorial, which you can, if you haven't watched, you can uh, watch. I will put the link on top right corner. And what we did was that we consumed the API uh, with the universities of United UK and then we list fetch those ones and displays those ones and then we also created a model um, and then we can delete those ones if I click delete it get deleted of course this was all deleted uh, from from the the memory itself rather than saving into the database but the thing I want to cover today is the components so uh, if you have worked with the Vue.js uh, before, uh, you know, the, the normal, the, the Vue application, uh, then we can create a components and then we can use the components, um, uh, reuse the components in multiple pages. But how to do that with the CDN? Because uh, right now I'm using the CDN version of Vue.js as you saw from the last code. So we did this one. Okay, we are using the CDN of the Vue.js and then we created the code itself of the pop-up. Now, what if you want to use this pop up on the multiple pages you don't want to copy uh, this keep on copying this code uh, that's not good programming anyway so how we can create a component with the cdn version of vue.js that's what we're going to look into it so let's get started so on that one what i will do is that this is the same project yes i it is still in the code igniter but like i mentioned it doesn't matter we are looking into only into the javascript it is you can even use the plain html so what I'm going to do is that we have the public folder. Uh, this is where the website is being served. So in that one, I have asset folders where I have CSS or images. I'm going to create a new folder, which is JS. OK, so let's say we create a new uh, file, which I'm going to call it components. So I can keep all the components here. And this will be, of course, JavaScript file components.js. Now, what I want to do is so we want to use the component. I want to create this move this uh, model into the component. So what I can do is that I can do export and I can give the name as model. You can give name anything. Basically, what I want you to do is that in instead of this whole code, I want to give something like this. You know, uh, I set the model and then I close it. I give the, this text so that I can reuse this model in my next particular page. If I want to use something else text, then I can provide that text over here. So that's the reason I give the name model. Like I mentioned, you can name anything. So I'm uh, naming it as model. Now, what you can do is that, of course, um, if you know about the Vue.js, we, we pass on the props. Now, for this particular model, I might not need to pass any props, uh, but I will just mention you how you can do it. So basically you give, by the way, I'm using the composition uh, API uh, of the view three. So you can give here. So if I need to pass any prop, then I can give uh, pass any, any, any prop if there is any. So I don't have any. So then um, I will cover emits because we're going to use it, but not right now. I will show you in a second, uh, but let's move on to the setup. So I'm going to set up. So if within this one, if you have a props, then you will pass the uh, pass the props like this. And also, uh, I'm going to pass the context. The context is about that uh, view object because when we going to as a component, I want to. Uh, what I want to do is, as you can see in here, uh, we are closing. So, for example, when I click delete button, it's opening up the pop up. Then I can click no, which it deletes. It means it's closed that pop up. Or if I click yes, then it is deleting it. Now, when you have a component, all this data or all these actions are on your main page. Now, you might be opening this model from another page. So you want to have that functionality on that particular page, not into component. You want to keep the component generic. So that is a reason I where I have this delete university function. So if I quickly show you what we were doing, we were, of course, just removing that one uh, particular the university which we selected. And then we were saying the okay, show pop up false. Basically, we will closing that pop up. So but I want to keep this logic here itself. 
and from the component i want to trigger it so that's the reason we will use the emits and with the context then we're going to use it all right okay so from the setup then uh, what we can do is that uh, let me first of all um, we write the code in the setup itself but let me then give the our uh, template so I'm going to give the template so this is where our uh, code for um, our HTML code the, the the snippet for the model will go in so what I can do is that in this one let me pick all the code from here i'm going to pick all the code for our model control x and i'm going to paste over here okay so this is now my complete um, uh, model over here now what can i do now is that now right now let me see uh, if i can um, because we have these functions so let me make these functions first of all okay um, i'm not gonna do anything with those functions it's just so that uh, they don't uh, give an error so make them let me make them empty for now and then i will show you quickly so and then the delete university and function although i will keep it um, generic i will change names in a second but i just wanted to show you if, if i can make it run first of all and then we will customize it okay uh, of course this one is not there so i'm going to let's see let me comment this one for now uh, and now we have this uh, created a component but how to use here means how we can use like this model so for that one what we need to do is that you know where we uh, imported the view now this is the key thing you know we have to do the component so now if i write components okay for the components then i can give the path of our where our component js is if you're using the of course the pure html then you will give this the relative path because i am using the php or the code igniter i can uh, give the base url so uh, this just gives the url which is in our case is localhost 8080 so that's the base url over here and then it's just the path so i have the assets and within assets we created the js folder and within that one we created a file called components.js that's how you register the component so now you gave the path for this particular file now we need to consume it so the way we can consume it is if we go back to our home uh, this uh, page and then you know where we uh, importing all this stuff from the view now we can do the same thing because we have exported our model in our components.js file so what i can do is i can just say model and then i want to import model from components that's it and the reason it is picking up this component is because we specify the components here and then it is linked to that particular file so okay so i am using this particular model and then what i need to do is you know where we are creating this app then i have to just before the setup i have to specify the components uh, this is exactly the same how we do in the pure Vue.js uh, uh, project as well so uh, now i'm going to provide here model and now i can use this model over here like this now i'm using this one so let me check um yes that's fine uh, right now i'm not it's not gonna do anything because these i'm not having written anything on these functions but let me see if this works or is it giving me any error so let me go right console open let me refresh it okay so oh yeah because we have the show pop up there and i haven't defined it so what i want to do is give me a second so in our now we have to do the cleanup uh, you know because we moved the snippet code as you can see we have this uh, show pop up here 
So rather than showing pop up here, because this we have, uh, what we want to do is that we want to show this model only when we set that model to be true that we can just set on here. So like uh, we were doing earlier, so I can set on the model and I already have a show pop up here in, in our in our that particular page because that how the functionality was working earlier so i don't need to move this one to our uh component because all the um, uh, i should say that the action itself is from this page i this page controls when to show the pop-up when you show the model or not you know those sort of things so i move that one here let's see if i refresh it then does it work no it doesn't so now the problem it is saying cannot read property of undefining reading name oh okay so uh, what it's uh, doing is that because although i commented but um, of course because it is not gonna let me remove this one and uh, now let me refresh it and okay as you can see our pop-up is working which is good but of course it will not show anything uh, because we deleted that particular line now where to give that line you don't want to hard code that one in the component because you want to make this component generic uh, of course these uh, close ones are not working because all those functions are not working at all so let me go back to us here so the way you can make generic i think you might know this already anyway uh, this is to put a slot so you can just give a slot with the closing um, tag so you can say slot and this so what this slot does is so like in normal html because this is the tag model open close so anything which you write here which i can just copy paste there because all these things are on the main page so then this will be passed on to that component and wherever you have the slot it will show that one so let's have a look so if i now refresh it and then click on this see now you can see are you sure you want to delete uh, this university which is exactly it picked it up so that's how you pass on that one now let's make these buttons working and how you can do that one so the way to do that is to use the amit so what amit does is that it going to from our component let me go back to our code so from our component because this is happening on the component right i'm going to click this one on the component but i'm going to uh, i don't want any logic over here i want this one action back to the main page means the page which is handling that model and to do that over there so for that one what i can do is of course i think the problem was because i was not returning here so i, I defined those uh, ones here so let me done i think even if i click they shouldn't give the error now they're not gonna do anything so let me quickly check so if i refresh it click it yeah now you don't see any error of course it's not do doing anything okay now the way amit work is so in our code you know where we have the props uh, the way we send the props from the parent page to to the component i can send uh, amits as well so i can define the amits and let me define first and i will explain so for uh, closing the pop-up i can say close pop-up okay and another thing just here when you're writing these ones uh, don't use the camel case uh, camel case doesn't work um, so you have to use uh, yeah so you can use this or you can just write one word okay and uh, then you can I can have uh, delete I will just make it generic delete over here and then what we can do is now these are the amits we define so what I'm saying is that when this particular function is clicked then I want to pass on so I'm taking the context and then from context I'm going to omit what I'm going to omit back is this particular name close pop-up and you will see we're going to define the exactly the same name on the parent page so I'm not writing any logic what I'm doing is all I'm doing is in this model I am or component I'm just saying okay this action has happened I'm going to pass on to the parent page parent page now you deal with it same thing I'm going to deal with here so let's say um, 
and then I can give uh, rather than delete uh, I can say on yes because we're, we're gonna click yes yeah so okay on yes and then I can have over here like this now I don't like delete university because I'm making this generic model so again I can say on click yes okay then I'm using this one so I have to change the name here and here okay like that one now this is how I'm going to specify now now when we go back to our main page I have to specify that so I have kept this name close pop-up right so when I go over here in our main page then let me make it so that it is easy for you to see okay now now I have to provide the same name but at so it's going to have that one and here I can call the same function we were calling earlier I think it was close model yeah so although I can just write this one liner and then the same itself but let's reuse that particular so I can just call it same function and same thing I'm going to do with the second one on yes okay on yes then I'm going to call the function which we were or uh, earlier calling so delete university over here okay that's it so basically yeah you uh, if you have any props you pass the props like this right if I have um, any prop if I want to pass any value uh, then uh, I do that one here and then I going to pass the prop over here but I don't have any props so this is the way M it is so Amit provides so is the same name okay that's how it is linked so I'm saying okay close pop-up here close pop-up here so what is saying is that when close model is clicked because that is triggered from this particular model it going to come to this function then it's going to emit to close pop-up then this going to call this function close model and then whatever the functionality you have written in close pop-up that will be executed and same thing on yes on yes then we are deleting the university okay let's see in this in action so if I refresh the page and let me try to delete the first one if I say no yeah as you can see it is working we are able to close the pop-up let's see if you're able to delete as well yes we can delete as well so yeah that's guys I want to have this quick one to show you how you can use the components means because uh, yes, if you're making a Vue.js application itself, then yes, we have that dot view files, we can component all those sort of things. Uh, but when you're using a CDN, you want to use all the features of the Vue.js. And now with my component JS, I can use this model in any page. And within this file, I can create another model here. I can just export, let's say I am doing um, uh, alert. So for example, you want to show the alert messages. So you can do that way as well, next one. So that's how you keep on um, adding more um, the, the, these components. Or you can have multiple files as well. So you can specify those ones. Yeah, I hope these guys help you and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you.